Betty, how's everybody doing today? Today is Thursday and that means I'm coming in for my weekly checkup. I have been so freaking chaotic busy that I totally forgot to do last week. And then I go, oh my God, it's Thursday today and it's already 8.30 at night and I haven't updated you guys. Slacker, I do daily videos every day on my YouTube on my other channel and I never miss that. I'm so inconsistent on this channel. It's crazy. I don't want to be inconsistent. So I'm coming at you at week 40 something, something, something. Um, I'm coming up on my 10 months surge anniversary, or has it already happened? On the second, every, the second of every month is my surge anniversary. So yes, it's been 10 months. So uh, I think June is 11 months because July is my one year. So two months away from uh, my surge anniversary, one year anniversary. It's been a, almost a year. This is so freaking crazy. Okay, hello to all the new people that subscribe. Thank you so much for subscribing. Sorry, I'm very shaky here. I'll hold the camera. I'll hold the stand so it's not so shaky. Okay, so let's get out of this slow lane and get into the faster lane. Um, okay, so I was, I had, oh, look at the chihuahua, Elijah. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so I had surgery in Tijuana, Mexico through alighterme.com with Dr. Elias Ortiz on July 2nd of 2015. My starting weight from pre-op diet was 220, but my highest weight was 245. I can't even, that chihuahua next to us, I can't even. It's so freaking cute. Anyway, um, uh, what was I saying? I got distracted. So my highest weight was 245. I started at 220. Uh, I lost 12 pounds, 11, 12 pounds. And then my surgery weight was 208. And then uh, I am down to, okay, so I am sticking around. My weight has completely almost stopped losing. Even though I'm having people tell me that I continually look skinnier like two weeks ago I'd some saw someone two weeks ago and then two weeks later like today they're like have you lost more weight and I'm like no I've stayed the same weight so I'm still really thinning out despite the poundage but I'm hanging around uh, 138 to 140 so I'm getting there it seems like I get stuck every single time and you know what it doesn't help because I've been having coffees every day that are like the sugary coffees um, I kind of upped my carbs a little bit and you know I have I've been having like uh, healthy flavored healthy type of chips and stuff that has a little bit more carbs um, so I, if I were a little bit more strict on myself like I was in the very the very first six months I probably could lose the extra three pounds to get to 135 but I have so many people telling me how great I look and how skinny I am and how awesome everything's been going for me and just the constant compliment has just been overwhelming and so awesome. So I'm not unhappy as I state in every, sorry, this phone is like way, I need to like move the whole phone over. But as I state in almost very every video, I'm not unhappy being at 140. If this is gonna be my goal weight then I could totally change it to be my goal weight I just wanted to see if I can make it to 135 however my body is saying <laughs> screw you I'm not going to go to 135 that's just too skinny for you like totally that's what my body's doing right now look I got a video bomber right there so um, I'm still losing hair just not as much <laughs> don't distract I'm trying to do a video um, what was I saying? See, you're distracting me. Stop distracting me. Uh, oh, stop. Elijah, stop. <laughs> Silly. Okay, so, um. <laughs> you're such a brat. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, anyway, 
clothes are still starting to fit looser. Even though, like I said, my pounds, I don't even know what I was talking about before, but my whole mind thought just changed. So sorry if I'm like ADD right now. But I just totally changed subject. So my clothes are fitting looser and looser. And I'm so happy about that. I'm so happy about that. Size six is what I'm in right now. I went from a size 16 to a size six. Ooh, live music on Thursdays? Ooh, I wanna go see some live music. And I'm so much more confident in myself. I'm okay with wearing a bathing suit out in public. I'm okay with wearing shorts out in public. Let me tell you what, the best feeling is for me. Everybody's different. Some people like, you know, have different best non-scale. My best non-scale victory is going to the stores and going in through the small and medium sizes, not having to try it on and buying it and taking it home knowing it fits without having a problem. And the clothes are so cute. Um, somebody told me yesterday that I look like I'm 20 years younger. If they only saw my gray hair, you know, they wouldn't be saying that. I dye my hair because I've got a whole head of gray hair. 36 is a good age. I'm enjoying this age. But, um, however, I just, I'm enjoying this whole new lifestyle. I still don't eat rice, breads, or pastas. Every once in a while, I'll have high carb foods. Every once in a while, I'll have like croutons. I don't even eat crackers. Um, anything breaded like that, I don't normally eat. Once in a while, once in a great blue moon, I will have something of that sort, like croutons, like I said, like a toast or something, but I don't eat a lot. I had garlic bread and I had like three bites and it made me feel sick to my stomach. So I am doing really well. In fact, I ate a quesadilla with a tortilla and tortillas taste absolutely disgusting to me. What the even heck? Tortillas taste gross. Elijah, you're so distracting. This video is gonna be longer because of you. Um, so I don't eat tortillas either. So the longer I stay away from certain things, the more that I realize I don't need to live w eating those foods. I am perfectly happy. I am perfectly healthy without eating those foods. I don't need them. And before surgery, I'd say, oh my God, I have to have my pasta. Oh my gosh, I have to have my bread. Oh my gosh, I have to have rice. No, I'm perfectly happy without those things. And you can live without them. You do not have to have those things. And I am happy. My restriction is still good. I still can eat up to two to three ounces. I can't eat a lot. I still, my restriction is really good. Oh good, it's charging. Uh, my restriction is really good. So I'm very happy with that. Guys, I may get in a position where I feel stressed and I stress eat and I feel guilty about it. But then like the next day I feel good. So it it's a typical woman emotional thing. I'm emotional, PMSing sometimes I guess. So, and it, the time of the month, let's talk about some TMI real quick. The time of the month for me causes me to eat more and I'm bloated in my stomach, so I feel disgusting. So, picky, pick, 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 pick. Anyway, video's almost uh, 10 minutes long. I am going to Carl's Jr. and I am going to order and you guys are going to listen in. Now I go to fast food a lot, but because I travel a lot, I don't have time to, I really don't have time to make my own foods, uh, let alone travel with them. Cause typically I don't get near a refrigerator to keep things nice. So, um, I don't order really unhealthy things at fast food. Let's see what they got here at Carl's Jr. Elijah, what do you want? You want anything? Um, hold on just a second, please. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Okay. I actually do want some bacon cheddar fries. You want some bacon cheddar fries? 
Okay, we're gonna have a small bacon cheddar fry. Okay. And I'm going to get a charbroiled barbecue chicken, uh, no lettuce and no bun. You like combo with soy tonic or just the sandwich? Just the sandwich. Um, no, uh, no lettuce? And no bun. Uh, Low okay. carb. You don't want the bun? No bun. So you okay. put it in a bowl or something with a fork? So you want the lettuce or you don't want the lettuce, right? No lettuce either, yeah. Tomatoes fine though. Okay, anything else? Uh, let's see. I'll have a small strawberry lemonade. Okay. And that's it. So I have bacon cheddar fries, barbecue chicken sandwich, no lettuce and no bun, so strawberry lemonade, right? Perfect. It's going to be 11.43 Thank you. Thank you. So typically, <laughs> what the even heck? Typically you can order anything from fast food restaurants and In-N-Out Burger, you can order their um, protein style burgers at In-N-Out. Let me get my money out here. And you can go no bun. It's just the easier, healthier look. Let's see if that one works. Uh, so I'm, I'm very happy with how I'm eating. I'm still losing weight. I'm still thinning out d despite the poundage mm -hmm. numbers, despite the numbers. Poundage is a word. Is poundage a word? You want a little wrap or you want the plate? Let's do it in a plate, please. Thank you. Yeah, no lettuce. He asked for lettuce wrap. Wait a minute. I don't want lettuce. <laughs> no lettuce? No lettuce. Oh, yeah, no lettuce. <laughs> Thank you. He, he, I said no lettuce earlier. Then he just came to the window and said, do you want it lettuce wrapped? I said no lettuce. All right, guys. Uh, this crap spilt in my purse. Make sure it's shut because it dyed everything. Oh, camera's this way. It dyed everything in my purse. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to have me recommend a fast food menu for you guys I can make a fast food menu just let me know in the next video I will have a menu sorted out for you or maybe I can write it down in the description box out for you of, of the fast food foods that I go to and what I order and even like at Taco Bell sometimes I'll just get a like their little black bowls are like this big and like this tall um, so I get like a side of chicken with a side of black beans and a side of avocado ranch and I mix it all together in a little bowl perfect size it's like two ounces and it's totally perfect and I get full just off of that so sides of things are perfect too Wendy's you can get a chili and so on and so forth so this video is getting long I want to say goodbye thank you so much for watching please press that red subscribe button down below if you're new and uh, I would yeah, that's it. <laughs> Love you guys so much. Ciao, bye.